What is up, you guys? Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Kojo, Kojo Show. Show. I'm your host, Joseph O'Brien. And I'm your more attractive host, Kobe James. <laughs> let's talk music. And let's talk life. Ow! We started a podcast. Yes, we did now. And we started a podcast. It's the Kojo Show. Yo, Joseph, did we make a podcast? Uh, I guess we did. Do you think anybody's going to listen? Yeah, absolutely not. Kojo! It's now time for life updates, so let's do it. Let's get into it. So, Joseph, um, we just played a show together, did we not? We did. Where were we? We were in Sparta, North Carolina. Allegheny. Allegheny. Well, I said as a joke, Allegheny, but it's Allegheny. Yeah, they ate that one up, man. Oh, they did. They They laughed. They laughed so hard. They Um, did it. But it was uh, Allegheny County, Sparta, North Carolina, where... Pray tell, how many people showed up for this concert? I'd like to say we played for a a solid 10. Yeah, 15. I mean, well, 10, 10 minimum. Was, I, th- I think my best guesstimate is at 35. It was about 35 people. Yeah, maybe 35. Yeah. I think 35 in and out, but there mm-hmm. were some definitely some walkers, you know, kind of coming back and forth from the there were. from the thing. So it was a, it was a good show. Um, it rained out during the whole sound check. It so did. we didn't sound check. And then the, the show itself had tons of technical difficulties. Yes, it did. But that's what comes with it, you know? I mean, <laughs> it's, it's part of it. Well, not to even to mention the road trip coming up was probably one of the funniest things. That was hilarious. Like, so we... Oh, my God. I've never been in a car with Kobe before. We're doing a podcast now, but, like, there's still some things in our friendship we hadn't done yet. Working out the kinks. So, you know, we're we're on this road trip, and uh, at some point, Kobe's like, oh, dang, I missed an exit. I was like, oh, great, cool. And we lose about 15, 20 minutes. Um, in the process. Not to mention we went to Bojangles for dinner and spent way too long in Bojangles. Okay, but you like never said like, hey, let's leave. He gave me the option. He's like, hey, should we go in or should we go through drive through And Joseph, and you're I my elder. I was like, bro, you... <laughs> it's funny, I am older, but a lot of times I defer to him what? as like the older guy. I'm just I don't louder. Know why. It's just the way it goes. I'm just anyway, louder. So basically, we pull into this Bojangles, right? And he's like, "All right, let's go in." I'm like, "Okay, cool." And just we just start talking the night away or whatever. And then you know, 45 minutes to an hour goes by, and it pushes our arrival back to like I don't know, like 10 or something like that. So after Bojangles, he misses an exit, and then go ahead and tell from your perspective the second story okay, of so this other missed exit. First of all, I missed the first exit because I couldn't see out my rearview mirror because there's stuff piling up. I had just been in a car accident, so I'm playing things a little safer right now. Joseph, As one should. Joseph, he let that one go, right? You get one. He let it go. We were good. Then um, we... Well, after that wrong turn, I think it was after that wrong turn, uh-huh. we were going... Uh, it was like trying to turn us around, and uh, it gave us another turn, and... We got a text from Grace Graber. Yes. And it like popped up on my where my maps are. Yep. And Joseph clicked it. So my map disappears. And I'm like, what is happening? So I look at, down at the screen, drive past the exit I'm supposed <laughs> to drive by again or drive through again. And when I tell uh-huh. you, I mean, we were not happy. No. Well, because what happened was is sometimes if you if you don't get the right exit, there will be like another exit <laughs> about two miles oh, down. It said 20. It said 20 it like, miles. Yeah, something like 20 miles and just completely rerouted us. We ended up going through South Carolina we did. to get to North Carolina. It was, it was wild. And my, my dad called me because we were staying with my parents and he was like, so I see you guys took some wrong turns. Yeah, because he tracks us. He tracks me. He was me. tracking he Kobe. He does, a little a sneaky guy. No, but... um. <laughs> But me and Joseph were quiet there for a little bit. We 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 kept quiet. It's okay. It's all right. We we're healing. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're healing. Riley Clemens. But um, anyways, that's uh, the main stuff going on right now. So Joseph, speaking of shows, uh, we are playing a Christmas tour together. Yes, we are. Isn't that gonna be fun? It's so fun. If we get, do you want to? Do you want to like? We're gonna have to put something for the people watching. But for those who are hearing, yeah, it is called comfort and joy. Comfort. And joy. With Kobe and Joseph, see comfort, I'm the comfort. And I'm the joy, because I'm the hype man. Woo, boo, 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 boo. There you go. Super excited, super, um, yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be It's going to really be great. Fun. We're hoping, praying to the Lord Jesus that we get some dates. Yes. Because uh, God knows we need them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. So we're uh, we're really excited for that. We just got done with some of the advertising. Uh, they're, they're pitching for the tour right now. So Yeah, is uh, there a way that if there's someone listening to this podcast yeah. right now that wants to book us, yeah. who would they get in contact Go with? Go to my website or Joseph's website. Our booking agent will be in uh, our bio or there will be a segment Somewhere, section yeah. on our website where you can go and 
book. Uh, you call them, you email them, talk about the Christmas tour, yes. and uh, that's the best way to Shout do it. Shout out to Jeff Roberts Agency. That's, that's right. what we're both signed under. They're so great. if you want to even go to their website, we both have artist profiles under their website. That's true. Um, that you can also check out. So, Amazing. Yeah. Well, let's hop into the next segment, uh, Show and Tell. Show and Tell. Okay, so welcome to Show and Tell, uh, the segment of the show where we, most of the time, are going to be showing original songs or original ideas that we've been working on. So that could literally be like pulling out an acoustic guitar, yeah. playing something live, just kind of giving you a glimpse of, uh, like our glimpse of, going to give you a glimpse of okay. what it, it means to be a musician on a week to week basis and like the ideas we come up with. Yeah. Sometimes they get recorded, sometimes they don't. And so we kind of want to give y'all some inside peeks to some some songs we're working on. Yeah. So today we're not going to do anything too crazy. We're just going to listen to some demos. I produced a dem. We both produce. I actually produced mine too today. Let's go, baby. Yes, we both did. So we both make tracks. He uses a stupid idiot, uh, like a stupid, stupid idiot, idiot audio <laughs> interface or a digital audio workstation. He it's uses really- PreSonus. It's super bad. It's Studio One, first of all, and to anybody who uses it. They know it's the best, and it's a it's a big UK thing. Yeah, so. if you're lying, if you're lying, okay. you're, you're what do you use tr- Logic? Yeah, I use Logic. Because oh my I'm a- gosh, it's glorified Garage Band. Yeah, but it's Apple, and everyone loves Apple. No, Am I right? it's terrible. Okay, no. all right. Well, I'm gonna play mine first because no, I'm just kidding. I'll play yours first. Yeah, um, it doesn't matter. So do you want a rock paper scissors for it? Sure. Okay, rock, rock paper, paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. All right. Okay, I, I Kobe want. just won. Okay. So what do you want? So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna pick uh, mine first. Okay, cool. Well, actually, I'm going to pick yours first because I'm a good Christian. <laughs> oh, good Christian man. So here we go. So selfless. Um, I know. <laughs> so my song is called uh, Higher Love. Um, it's uh, I wrote it with um, Brandon. Wait, why? If you're playing mine first, then let me talk about my song. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. He's like, he's like, I'll do yours first. So my song, Higher Love, is freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, Sorry. Joseph, tell us about your song. Uh, okay, so my song is called Independent, and it's 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 a little bit of a drift from my, my style. It's Fourth a, of it's, July anthem. Huh? It's a Fourth of July oh, anthem. Oh, Fourth of July anthem, yeah. So it's it's kind of like this... Almost hip hoppy. Uh, there's this artist named Quinn something something. He's got a bunch X-C-I-I. of Roman numerals. Yeah, and um, it's it's kind of like I don't know. It's just different for me. But it's kind of just a song about you live your life independently from God, and that just doesn't get you really far. And it, it and it feels like it always leaves you lost. So like the course is like I'm not independent. When I go my own direction, I get lost like every single time. Dude, and and so. Um, yeah, and I kind of do this weird thing in the first verse with this little microphone effect. You just play it. Okay. And, um, I'm and excited. This is a little. It's again. It's a super. These things we're gonna be showing you are rougher demos, so they're who'd not you, like fully produced. Who'd you write it with? Uh, it was me. Just me. Just you. Just me. Man, you're gonna like. No, show me I am so sorry. I wrote this with two other people. Oh wow, that's but, embarrassing. But <laughs> we only wrote like the first verse in the chorus. <laughs> we're not gonna then, edit that out. That's yeah, awesome. and then I wrote it uh, the first two and like some things by myself because this literally was written like. Five six months ago, right, who was this with? Um, it was with um Tyler Moody. Cool, and it's a girl. Oh, really? <laughs> I forget her name. Oh, it's okay. This is really bad. It I, happens. I probably should like look guys. Her one up. thing about writing is you write with so many people that you meet for the first time. Yes, it's really hard to remember. Her name's names. Colby. Colby Kaloff is her oh, name. Oh, okay. I think I know of her. Oh, well, her name actually now is Colby Nell. Wow, went through because she's shift. married. But her name used to be Colby Kalaf. Cool deal. All right, we're going to play it. Here we so go. So here we go. This is called Independent. And uh, yeah. There we go. I keep telling myself I'm okay. I'm okay. I keep thinking that I should just take a minute. Caught up in this lie that I can do this on my own. It's so funny to think I'll get by. That all I really need is advice to fix it. What's the quickest way? To make me feel I'm not alone I can't stand on my feet You make me complete I'm free and known So don't let me go I'm not independent When I go my own direction I get lost I get lost And I don't know where I'm going When I'm caught up in emotions I get lost can't comprehend it. I'm so dependent on. This, that's all we got. Pause it. Oh Boom. my gosh. So that's what we got. Going I want to die. <laughs> I hate you, dude. It's, I hate you. It's so different for me, but I kind of like ah! it. Uh, that's so good. Thanks, Crosby's man. just sitting there. He can't hear it because he doesn't have headphones. It, just, it sounded great, but it was a little muffled. It only looked like y'all were listening to like silent disco or something. 
<laughs> yeah, we were just kind of Joseph. That I feel was. Like, I feel like I could be more energetic when I'm listening. I kind of just go into head bob mode. That was awesome. Thanks, man. He, in every moment that he did something he knew was cheeky, he looked at me and yeah. I was looking at him. <laughs> yeah, I hate. That's what you. happens whenever you listen to like a song with the where you know the little <laughs> with the reverb. Like you know, I'm kind of looking to see if like the musician Jeez. appreciates it. I was just like, I hate you. Mine's uh, way rougher. I did mine in a like. I did mine super quick, so okay, I'm just let's gonna, play it. Oh wait, introduce it. What's what's up with called, higher love? Uh, mine's called higher love. Give me a higher exactly. love. Exactly, that was talked about in the right. I oh, wrote okay. this with um with Brandon Heath and a guy named Justin Brighton. Let, let, let him say that again. Who did you write this with? Brandon Heath. Brandon Heath. I love that guy. The, Bra- did you hear that right? Give me your eyes, bro. Give and me your and eyes. um, I'm not who I was. Exactly. Uh, literally, so many number ones on the radio, and this guy's just like, yeah, I wrote it for. He's a good guy. With Brandon Heath. He's a good and guy. He's like a super nice and dude. And we're like super tight. So. Uh-huh. Him and then a guy named Justin Brighton, I think is his last name. Cool, great guy. Um, he's in the country scene. So this one's uh, real fun, a little, a little more um, uh, organic. But uh, I'm a fan, so this is uh, Higher Love. Sick. Let's do it. Mm. It's already so Kobe James. It's smooth, you know. Kobe James, Christian John Mayer, and Shawn Mendes. Here we go. Oh, call me Timmy. Stuck on a broken road, frozen by sin, man. And I don't have the heart to hope. Cause it's been a journey, it's been a long one. Looking for love, but it feels like there ain't none. So call me human. Cause I'm not the only one who's looking for a higher love. The greatness of the Father, He's given out a higher love To all His sons and daughters No, the sky's not the limit for what God's given So we just gotta keep looking up No, the world will never be enough He's given us a higher love He calls me worth Yes, sir Beautiful that's, that I mean, was Kobe James. Kobe James always introduces vibes to Christian music. I mean, that that right there is just like, hey, I'm driving and it's 10:30 at night, yeah. and I just want something to soothe my ears. You're chilling, you know. And, it, and it's very that's beautiful, bro. Thanks, man. I love yeah, that. it's a little less pop, uh, but it's it's got a thing that I I, I like about it. You know, I, oh I, yeah. I hope I get to cut it at some point. It's a fun one. It's um, soothing. That's that's the word. It's oh, soothing. Dude. The guitar tones, everything. Did you produce that too? I did. I produced that one. It oh was gosh. not as good as Joseph's. Stop uh, it. No, I'm Why do you have to be like that? I'm playing. It was better. No, I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm you gotta just kidding. have it. I'm just kidding. I His... wish. I wish I could have. This is something about Kobe. Like he's one of the most humble guys you'll ever meet. Oh, he's whatever. so humble. Whatever. But he he pulls off the arrogant thing so well. <laughs> But I think with me, it always backfires. Like I can't be the arrogant one. I I always have to be the 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 like. Um, you do some arrogant like, bits. Do I? Sometimes. Sometimes they work when you do them. Uh, do I? Or, you do. Or do they? Do That's they? funny. Oh me? No. Stop. <laughs> oh my god. No, but um, but that was really good, Joseph. I love that song. Uh, I really loved how you just the production elements of that was just super minimal in a great mm. way. Thanks, and man. like the little lav guitar, like I'm just a sucker for that. Like oh really? And then the 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 drop on the course was just the whoom kind of thing oh yeah it's nice thanks man it's nice i just really really appreciate it and the melodies were great so thank you the next day okay hey guys um so you don't notice anything different but we already filmed the whole episode and then lost uh half of the audio do you want to explain things from your perspective i open my laptop and it says that files are missing, which happens sometimes, and you can always recover them. But it said uh, an Apple notification popped up and said, your files have been corrupted. And I freaked out. Called Joseph. And Joseph um, Joseph had Should a... I, my turn now to flip well, jo- I called Joseph. He was like, hey, man, Kobe, my guy, my dude, what is up? And I was like, hey, man. So... We got to talk. And uh, uh, like super quickly, I knew something was off because like anytime I answer the phone, I'm just like, what's up, man? And he'll always be like, oh, what's up, dude? But he goes straight to like, hey, bro. Hey, bro. And I knew something was very off. And from my perspective, he just starts talking. And I I was filled with so much rage. Sorrow. And rage. I just do not like when technology fails us. Uh, and it, it was devastating to hear that. You know that we filmed the half of the podcast. We still have the camera audio, but it's not through the the, the microphones. And right. we wanted to make sure we retained good quality for y'all. People. We're doing this for y'all. 
We're doing it so, for y'all. This segment is called. It's what's happening in CCM. Guess what's happening in CCM? Guess what's happening in CCM? That's right. So Joseph. I think you queued up some stuff for us, did you not? Yes. Yeah, so the first thing that has happened that we're really excited about or f- excited for her is Leanna Crawford has uh, gone. Yeah, has I, has for, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. This is good. It's like we're doing it all over again for the first time. Leanna Crawford has gotten engaged. Got engaged. She's engaged. Clap, clap. Whoop, whoop. She's engaged to an NBA basketball player. Uh, <laughs> I, I also forgot that. <laughs> yeah, I know. And he plays, or he used to play for the Portland Trail Blazers. Or he might currently play for them. That's insane. But yeah, he's like seven foot or something like that. So wow. the the height mismatch is actually kind of crazy. I want to know how they met. That's, Me too. You know, like what what was that story? Was I she think. at a game? Did he love the truth I'm standing on? I wonder if she like sang the national anthem. Oh, that's totally. Or something that's like totally that. what happened. It had to be it. We're anyway. we're a hundred percent going with that for now. But anyway, congratulations, Leanna. Congratulations, um, Leanna. Next up, we're gonna talk about uh the Dove Awards. Dove Awards. We're gonna talk about the Dove Awards. The Dove Awards are happening October eighteenth of twenty twenty two. Okay. And we're gonna go through the nominees and we're gonna guess which ones we think are gonna win and yeah. which ones well, I guess we're not gonna guess which ones are not gonna win. We're just gonna <laughs> guess it's gonna be the ones that we don't win. <laughs> we're just gonna <laughs> guess the ones that's gonna win. So this will come out before the doves air. So we're doing this one a little earlier, but yes. it should come out in early October, which uh I believe doves, yeah, like you said, is the eighteenth. So yeah. So our predictions will still be uh fresh. Yes. So you heard it here first. Uh the, the Dove Award winners are right here. We're about to announce them we're because we're gonna them. get them right. I, I'm very confident in our picks. From I'm earlier. very confident. We picked them already earlier, and we're just going to restate them. But we're going to talk. But they're through pretty it. good. They are really good. Okay, I said very and really in the same word. That's all right. Verily, verily, verily. You've been doing that a lot more recently. I know because I'm terrible at English. But what, what like. was what, what, where else were we when that was happening? We was on the road together, wasn't it? I don't know. You were doing it like a lot. Oh, it was when we were doing our Instagram clips together. Probably. You kept doing it, like, over and over again. I stammer a lot when I'm on camera uh, and when I'm under pressure. Really? So I, I just can't talk sp- or I I, can't talk right. I, See, even right there, I, I didn't... See, I do the opposite. I over-enunciate when I'm on camera, but in real life, I sound like I, I can't talk. Oh. Yeah. That's mad weird. Isn't okay. Weird? Uh, we're like the flip flops of each other as always, uh, but we're, we're so similar, but we're so different. Should have called it the flip flops show. The <laughs> flip flop show. Yes. Okay. Double awards. Here we go. 2022 nominees song of the year. We've got a lot of songs of the year here. Uh, there's like 11 of them. So we got be all right by Evan craft. Okay. Believe for it by CC Winans. Come what may by we are messengers. Good God almighty by Crowder. Hold on to me by Lauren Daigle house of the Lord by Phil Wickham. Gyra by Maverick City Music, Look What You've Done by Tasha Layton, My Jesus by Ann Wilson, Promises <laughs> by Maverick City Music. I just realized I got two nominations for Song of the Year. Who did? Maverick that? City Music. What was the other one? Oh, Gyra. Uh, Gyra. Yeah, oh, Gyra wow. and Promises. That's a lot. That's crazy. And then you got Rattle by Elevation Worship. Um, uh, which is also a great song. They're all incredible songs. Um, Kobe, go ahead Go ahead and start us off. What do you think is your... You're gonna Give us your top three and Here, then give us your prediction of what you think is going to win. man. Is it my favorites that I want to win or the ones that I think are going to win? No, yeah. Do your top three what you feel like are actually going to win. Okay. And then label which one you think I that think one's going to win. I think my Jesus probably is going to take the cake. Okay. Probably. If, if in Jesus' name was up against it, Katie Nicole's song, yeah. she'd blow her out of the water. Really? I, I feel Blow like, her out of the water? I mean, let's be real. That was one of the biggest songs we've had in CCM since, like you say. I, I mean... Yes, it was huge, but My Jesus has also been very big as well. I mean, it was well. big, but it wasn't, it wasn't that big. It wasn't TikTok big. Hey, that's true. It wasn't TikTok that's big. That's got to reach, man. So I would say <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> yes, it's true. No, so I'm going to go with My Jesus for my number one pick, Gyra for my second, and my hot take Hot take is Evan Kraft and Danny Goki. That's right. Remember? I think that's going to be the pick just because... It has a Spanish uh, reach, whereas uh-huh. all the others don't. This one went uh, out of the country and, and uh-huh. hit hit different. It went out. <laughs> it went out. Evangelistic. It, it was it was an eva- ev- evangelical. There you That's go. It. Yeah. Um, I don't know. When I was in the Dominican Republic recently, um, I was hanging out with uh, some of the guys there, and they're Christian dudes, and they 
they knew that song. They're like, let's sing that song. I was like, oh, I know this song. Yeah. But that was like one of the ones they knew well. And so I don't know. That's my hot take. But and Promise is you know probably gonna take it. But whatever. Oh, you think Promise is gonna win? Maybe Promises, Gyra, and, and My Jesus. Yeah. I, but probably My Jesus. Earlier today, I said a uh, top three, and I think I'm switching it around because I've changed my mind, even though my, my answer is still staying the same. So My Jesus, I believe, is going to win. Yeah. That is, uh, that is, I'm so 100% confident in that. But I do think that Gyra is a really close second. I think it could take it. It really could. I'm not sure. And Belief for It won the Grammy. Oh, I forgot Belief Remember for Belief It. Remember Belief for It? I forgot that was on there. That changes the whole game. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, I Yeah, wait, bet. hold up. I thought you said Belief for It might win. Well, it might. Yeah. <laughs> they all might win. No, but um, but I, I was saying CC Winan is having a comeback. This yeah. is her comeback year. It's her comeback and year. And if she's going to take it, it'd be now. That's so true. So and it won a Grammy, and that's a big deal. That is, and so, itself has some legs to help it. Well, win. yeah, because Grammys are bigger than the Doves. Yeah. So, I think that belief for it, and uh, actually, my Jesus are probably the top two, and then I think Jira is a sleeper pick. That I mean, Maverick City is just you know they're making waves in Christian music right now, so there's a big possibility that they I could take, win. I take back the be all right thing. I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gonna, great song. It's great. I, just, I don't think it's gonna. It's, I don't think it's gonna win the Dove though. It's not gonna win the Dove. So you heard it here first, Ann Wilson. Congratulations. <laughs> or Cece Winan. Congratulations. Or, yeah, but we both said I think Ann Wilson. I don't know, Joseph. Okay, he doesn't know. I'm pretty confident. Okay. So we're gonna stick with my answer okay. here. Um, artists of the year. We got five options here. We have CC Winans. This is where okay. This is where it got weird. Oh, this one's tough. CC Winans for King and Country, mm. Maverick City Music, We the Kingdom, and Zach Williams. Mm. That's tough. Mm. I Ann Wilson wasn't on that. No. Okay. She's on another list. Okay. She's on another list. Uh, I I think. <laughs> Wait. I, you might as well just go for it. The, the Kobe show. James knows how to do a pitch perfect impression of Sean Mendez. You're putting me on the spot. And honestly, I don't want to put you on the spot. I just want you to talk for this for this prediction. Okay. For the rest <laughs> for the rest of the time. Just this this just one. this artist of the okay. year. I want you to talk okay. like Sean Mendez for the rest of this segment. So, me and Camila were thinking um I I I'd like to say that it's probably um going to be CC uh, just because <laughs> just because of the sheer reach that she's had over the the uh, the year I mean it's her comeback year it's huge for her I'm yeah. re- I'm really excited uh, hell me <laughs> <laughs> hell me uh, no I think it's CC CC one okay. probably just cuz it's her comeback year for king hasn't really had anything big this year was this and um, what was this and is, for god is with us and uh and um Relate. Those were their big songs. Yeah, that wasn't like a big year for them. (laughs) What? It's always been a big year for them. Their live concerts. They live in a big year, but like. Their live concerts are to die for. Yeah, but like, it's not like they're. This isn't like Burn the Ships. You know what I mean? Like that that, that cycle of album, they were taking the cake. God only knows. But um, but I think Cece, just because she's had such a comeback, uh, and it was the comeback of a lifetime. Okay. uh, Go get it. And and I'm also, I'm also really, I, I love the people that wrote that song. So I would love to see it take a dove, just because okay. I love them. I am going to disagree with you. Oh my! And gosh. I'm going to I'm going to say that Maverick City Music is going to win. Oh well, that's a good opinion too. I think Maverick City. Now here's what I don't know. I don't know if they've won in the past. If they've already won a Dove Award for Artist of the Year, then I don't know if they're going to win it because I think for King of Country has already won a Dove Award for oh, sure for Artist of the Year, gosh, yeah. if not multiple. So Maverick City, if this is their first time being nominated for this, or if they haven't won yet, it's got to be them. They're gonna take the cake. Yeah, they're they're doing incredible things right now. So I could see that happening. Yeah. Okay. Good CC take. Wines, I think, is a good second second pick. Though. She's a good second pick. I feel like yours is more p- possible, but CC is a good runner up kind of thing. Yeah. We the Kingdom would be a sleeper. But didn't they win already? I feel like I don't know. Last if they year? did. They might have won New Artist of the Year. I don't know. Have they made it a Dove cycle yet? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They. I mean, if not. They're riding off of two really big child of love and uh, mm-hmm. holy water. So yeah. I mean, it, we could just be wrong on this one. We could, but I'm pretty. I'm seventy four percent confident. Seventy four point four percent confident that Maverick City is going to win this one. Okay, so. I think you're right. Okay, let's go on in, uh, to the next section here. New artist of the year. Okay, you got the the big name man Wilson. Hold on, my mic's making noise. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was making that the like while we were prepping for this the okay, whole time. There you go. Okay, that's good. We got Ann Wilson. Ann Wilson. We got Blessing Offer. Offer. Yeah, that's right. You okay. Uh, Doe. 
I don't know who Doe is. Yeah. Doe is an amazing artist. Is it a girl? Yeah. Was she on the charts? I don't know. Man, we have. If she wasn't on the charts, why didn't we get nominated? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just letting anybody on. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Doe is, Do is no, much better no, than we'll no, ever no. be. She's no, so good. She's awesome. Jordan, you don't know who she is, bro. <laughs> Okay, you got Jordan St. Cyr and then Ryan Ellis. I think Jordan, I don't know. Ann Wilson's on there too. No, it's Ann Wilson. It's probably Ann. It's 100% <laughs> Ann Wilson. Well, I don't know. And it's no like disrespect to Blessing, Doe, Jordan, Ryan. Like It's just you're competing against someone that the, it's just a no-brainer. Did Blessing, did Blessing get a number one with Brighter Days? Yeah, he did for sure. And then the Toby one that just came out. He probably hasn't had the same traction that she has. And um, who was the other one that we, we talked about? Recently, uh, in this, uh, um, there was Anne Blessing, and then what was the other one? Katie Nicole? No, 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 no. There was somebody else. Ryan Ellis? Oh, no. George, Jordan, Jordan. St. Cyr. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say maybe him, but he only had one number one. And yeah, it was Fire a, and then A Weary Traveler. Were they both? Both, both did, which did really well. They did. But none of them compared to the traction that Ann Wilson got. Didn't Sunday Sermons do pretty good, too? Yeah, it did. And she's like a household name at this point. She is. She's her own entity. Yeah, like, I mean, she already got her... I don't think any of them got an Opry debut, did they? No. And she's yeah. selling tickets at this point. Like, she can go and book a... I'd open for Ann. You oh, know what I'm saying? I'd op- uh, Yeah, well, I'd open for pretty much any uh, Yeah, but well, we'd open for... <laughs> <laughs> please let us play for you. Yes, please. No, no but we would, we would. We could open for Ann. That's, that's how big she is, is probably what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And we're at her booking agency, so Jeff Roberts. If you're listening. Is she is she under Jeff Roberts? I feel like she is. Yeah, she probably is. She is. We get her down cells. Katie we, Nicole is too. Yeah, we get so. we get their gigs that they don't take. Yeah, we that's get right. That's what happens. <laughs> no, but um, but I think Anne's probably got it. She's had she's had crazy success. So Su- success, success. Yes. Um. Okay, I got to go to this next one. Oh yeah, I remember. Okay. Um. So we did new arts of the year. Uh. Yeah. This is the second to last uh thing we're gonna do. Okay. Worship recorded song of the year. Oh, and you yeah. got "God Turn Around" by John Reddick. Okay, "Hymn of Heaven" by Phil Wickham. "I Speak Jesus" by Charity Gale. "Gyra," which is Chandler Moore, Naomi Ray, and Maverick City Musica, or Maverick City Music. That's that's it. Nice. And, and "Know You Will" by Hillsong United, featuring Benjamin Hastings. Was "House of the Lord" on that? Ye- yeah. No, "Hymn of Heaven." Oh, "Hymn of Heaven." Yeah, I think "Gyra" probably will it's, take it's it. It's a hundred percent "Gyra." That was a great song. Do you yeah. like that song? Yes, yeah, good song. I wasn't sure if you had a hot take on that one or not. I like Promises a lot. That's I don't like, like that one as much. Okay. Well, that's wrong opinion. I just think the verses aren't... I don't feel the verses as much as I do Gyra. When God that melody comes in... You're the God of Covenant, covenant and the, Faithful the, the Promises. The lyrics are great. The lyrics, yeah. I'm not saying the lyrics. I just think the melody doesn't hit me the way it's... Oh my gosh, the melody's incredible. I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Was They're both great. That's so good. They're both fantastic, but so I love 6-8 like songs. Doodle, you don't. So good. Yeah, Jaira is Jaira. So it's just four, you, you know, four, four. Uh, and not gosh. to be that guy, but I love six, eight songs. I do too. Like uh, I Am Who You Say I Am by uh, Hillsong. You know what? Honestly, I don't actually. Six, eight songs, worship songs, don't get it. Reckless Love. Okay, I like that song. Yeah. How do you feel about Reckless Love? No, we can't talk about <laughs> <laughs> no, can't. seriously. No, 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 no. no, no, no. How do you feel about is God's love reckless? No, we can't talk Joseph, about this. For it's all of you who don't know, is a theology buff. I I do love theology. Full of and hot this takes. is not this is not a good conversation for a podcast. Okay, it's actually a great conversation. It's really solid. It's Thanks, so good. Crosby. It's so good. Maybe we should tackle that next week. Next week. Next week. All right, I like that. Episode two. My right. my take on reckless love and Kobe's take on reckless love, which is a lot less interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. So we okay. both said Gyra. Okay. okay, and then the the last um, uh, Dove Awards don't just do music, but they also do film and TV. <laughs> really? Yes, they do. <laughs> and uh, aren't you in one of the movies? Again, this is funny. He already responded this way earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you in Flickr? Yeah. What's it called? What? Flickr? No, no. <laughs> What's it called? It's called uh, Life Mark. <laughs> Life Mark. No, no, no. I'm not in Life Mark. I tried out for the movie Life Mark, oh, which is the new Kendrick brother, uh, Brothers movie. The, okay. The guy who got the part's actually really good. He's He looks like a Disney star, man. You know what? And he can cry on command, which is... He can, and I can't. Which is what he did. You got to put the medicine in my eyes in order for me to cry. But, Kendrick Brothers, if you're looking for an actor... I will do. <laughs> Let's do a duo. We'll do a duo. Come, come for us. Listen, we're thinking comedy road trip with about two starving artists. Yeah. And there's like crazy shenanigans that take Docu-series. place. Docu-series. Like it could be really fun. I'm not sold on the docu-series yes. thing. But like it would be really good. All right. Anyways, what are, okay. the, what are the nominees? Inspirational film slash series of the year. You got American Underdog, Blue Miracle, Redeeming Love, 
<laughs> the Chosen. I'm still laughing about you. I'm sorry. Yeah, and the Jesus music. Okay. I, well, so this is hard for me because yeah. the Chosen was amazing, and I was I, amazing. Well, I think you mean is amazing. All right. Well, I think. It was amazing first season as well, and I don't know if they won an award for the first season. And that's I, what I don't know either. Part of me doubts that they're going to get it again if they already got it. But Jesus, it's called Jesus Music, right? The Jesus Music. I always want to call it Jesus Freak. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which is, well, it's it has Kobe Mac. I know because it. it's him, so yeah. I always want to think Jesus Freak. But um, it's valid. I'm really, really. That was such a cool moment for Christian music, and such a big deal for like all the artists. And like, I don't know. Like to me, it's like it almost feels like not right to not give that a dove because it's such a passion project for the genre that, you know, has a lot of history to it, which is really yeah. cool. I feel like that's what I said earlier today. You What'd know? you say? What you just said. You didn't say that. I said something along those lines. You said it lines. was way less like gravitas ah, and it's gravity. A, it's okay. And... I need to stop talking about what we said earlier today. I am in full agreement. I think that the Jesus music is, is probably <clears throat> not the one that people would, would choose yeah. in the sense of, uh, I think people expect the chosen to win, but I think the Jesus music documentary is so near and dear to CCM, yeah. like the genre's heart, that I feel like the Dove Award people would be like, yeah, because it's not based on votes. Kalo Fan right. Awards would say The Chosen, which I think it did win. I think it did. The The Chosen series won for inspirational film, but I think for Dove Awards, Jesus Music, that is my final answer. Locked and loaded. We just finished that segment of Dove Awards, so right. make sure to tune into the Dove Awards October 18th. Um, and see if our predictions came to pass, which they will. They probably will. They will. So that's what's happening in CCM. And now it's part of the show where Joseph comes out and sings a sad song. <laughs> Just kidding. We're not this, <laughs> this week. <laughs> <laughs> we I got love the you. fake out. I love the fake I got out. You. He didn't know I was going to do that. Yeah, it's beautiful. But um, we actually don't have one this week just because uh, equipment wise, we're trying to figure out how we're going to do it. But next week, hopefully, we'll have one. <laughs> yeah. Will we? So, yeah, we, we will. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of his thing. Yeah. So, I don't know if he's going to have it or not. We're going to insert a TikTok clip here of what this actually is. But I usually take a song that's like a Christian worship song or some kind of just CCM song in general. And that's in a major key, and then I turn it to minor, and we're going to vote whether we think it's better that way or if it's better the original. Probably most of the time we're going to say it's better than the original. I agree. But you never know. You, you could have a know. really fire minor song version. Oh, okay? happy day. Happy yeah. day. Yeah. Okay, so if you like grew up in Sunday school, you cannot tell me that you did not love nursery rhymes, like all the ones we learned, like Jesus loves me, this little light of mine, he's got the whole world in his hands, the whole kabit and kabaz. But we do love that stuff because it's in a major key, it's really happy, it's really peppy, and it's easy to sing along with. So like what Jesus loves me, like Jesus loves me, this I know for the Bible. Yeah, it's like, whoa! But what if we switch these songs from major to minor, just how creepy would they be? And now we're entering into dark spooky minor mode. Sing along kids if you know it. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, a wee little man was he, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, Jesus loves me this Okay, so it's game time. Game jo time. I'm so excited about game time. He's, I love game time. Oh, I just lost the game. Joseph! Does anyone play the game? Uh, look, so he's he taught me the game. Then he taught my whole family the game. Yeah. And now I can't make it a day without losing the game. If you don't know what the game is, it's a game that you don't play. It's in your head. And if you remember that the game's a game, you lose. It's hard to explain. I feel like you should just go up, just go out there, look up the game, and it's a, the you millennials. Know, you know. Yeah, if you know, you know. If it's you know, too hard know. to explain. We're not going into it. But so Joseph, if you do play the game, you just lost, so you're welcome. Okay. Joseph, what have you prepared for us game time? Yeah, today? so game time. Again, because I am I am the game show coordinator here, I feel like, at Kojo Central. You're our youth group pastor. I am the youth group pastor. <laughs> so we're going to do a special little best friend quiz game. Uh, because earlier today we did a CCM trivia thing, but we wanted to mix it up, and we're gonna do. Um, yeah, instead yeah. of me answering the same questions again, yeah, and pretending, and to pretending be surprised. Yeah, yeah, exactly, we're not gonna do that. Yeah. So, so I decided, hey, I was like, hey, Kobe, pick five questions uh, about yourself, give a multiple choice answer, um, and then we're gonna guess each other, you know, um, yeah. and see see how well we know each other if we yeah. give uh, each other some different. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go. We're first. just gonna see. All right. What is my favorite Netflix series right now? 
Okay. House of it better cards. be appropriate. House of Cards. I don't actually know if all the ones that I suggested are appropriate or not, so don't come at me. Oh, my word. House of Cards, Breaking Bad, Stranger Things, Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul? House See, of all cards. of these I've, I've heard you mention. Say them one more time for House me. House of Cards, yeah. Breaking Bad, Stranger Things, Better Call Saul. I'm going to rule out Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say House of Cards. Nah, it's Breaking Bad. Oh, it's Breaking Bad. It's okay. You don't know That's me. a show about meth, bro. It's not like... <laughs> here's the thing. That's a terrible it's, show. It's all That's fake. It's all oh fake. Oh my gosh. What? Uh, it's not... We... we uh, Any show you hear Kobe talk about... My mom told me to watch it. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. So, my, you see, I grew up in a very sheltered Christian household, so I did shows it. like that do not make sense here's for a, me. Here's a way to get to know me and Joseph. I was allowed to watch Harry Potter at the age of 10. He wasn't allowed to watch it until he was in no, college. No, no. Witchcraft. Yeah. Even though we could watch Lord of the Rings, which and also... Narnia. Yes. But those so, are told from a biblical perspective. The, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Yeah, but they're told from a biblical perspective. I think all storytelling is J.K. Rowling is not a Christian from no, what I've heard. she's not. She's but, not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think all storytelling, low-key, comes from a biblical perspective. All storytelling? Well, not all storytelling, but, but the main big stories where it comes to like light versus evil— that all stems from the Bible in an interesting way. Like when you look at Harry Potter, I'm not saying this is a Christian thing at all, That's, so don't disclaimer. But I'm saying, isn't it interesting how in media, the stories that we love the most are the ones that almost reflect the Bible the most? Like, sure, you know, light versus dark, you know, good, good always wins. Yeah, good wins. Uh, the the hero uh, always defeats the A villain. giant battle at the end that, you know, has somebody who's got to sacrifice himself. Like. Yeah. Iron Man, Harry Potter, like, you know, the list goes on with people who had to sacrifice themselves. Darth Vader, I mean, yeah. but it's like, it's just always interesting because that always reminds me of like the impact that is the Bible. So yeah. anyways. I love that. Wow. We, we just turned that into an encouraging message. Yeah. Or you did. Sorry. I listened. Yeah, okay. You, you did a good job. Continue okay. on with your, your quiz. Oh, go you for want me it. to do mine? Okay. Yeah. Uh, which or do it, you want to go back and forth? We could do back I and like forth. I like back and forth. Let's yeah, do back and forth. Yeah, why not? Okay. Question one for me. Um, I have to pull it up here. Um, okay. What's my weirdest irrational fear? <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Globophobia, which is the fear of balloons. Okay. Trypophobia. I definitely feel like it's the balloon one already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Trypophobia, okay. which is the fear of holes. Uh, Ooh, automatonophobia, which is the fear of human-like figures. And then ranidophobia, which is the fear of frogs. I feel like it's the first two, but you could be an uh, anti-frog guy. Um, an anti frog guy. I'm going. Do I give that vibe that I don't like frogs? A little bit. You're either the whole <laughs> guy or the balloon guy. Okay. I know people who have the whole thing. Okay. Like where they're like, have you had the whole thing. That's that's where I know it. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm going. I'm going balloons. Final answer. That is wrong. It was the whole thing. Trypophobia. Yeah. I knew it. So there's this glitch on the internet that had to do with an MLB baseball game, and I didn't realize I had trypophobia until I saw this. But it was. Uh, Basically, this this human character glitched out in the game, and his whole face became like a wasp nest, basically, looking thing. Wow. You, in fact, if you want to look it up, look up Trypophobia MLB player uh, glitch, or um, on Trypophobia on uh, video game glitch. On YouTube? Uh, no, just on Google. Check the images that pop up. I will- uh, I'm going to have you type this in, dude. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Trypophobia. Here we go. Hey, Cross, will you open that door? I think it's just a little hot in here. I want to say, yeah, I want to say this back half of the podcast feels a lot better than when we recorded it the first time. See, I just typed it in, and I you looked don't even see straight it? away. I do not want to see Wait, it. Wait, really? Do you, are, oh my gosh. Well, I mean, it's freaky looking. Yeah, okay, so he sees it? Okay, yeah, you're seeing it. Yeah. I, you see, I can't, I, can't, I can't even Well, I mean, bear. I think any human would be scared of this a little bit. No, yeah. Yeah, I can't look at it. It's so really? trypopho- again. There's so many pictures. So, like that bothers don't, you. Don't don't show me. <laughs> I will not look. Okay. And what happened Joseph, was is when I saw that glitch at Joseph, first, my phone's acting funny. Could you just bro stop? <laughs> oh, I, can't I just saw it. I can't believe you I looked. just saw it. I just I can't saw it. Believe you looked. <laughs> I just cross cross. Look at that. Look, I got the freaking out, man. Like I kid you not. I We're just, gonna throw it. Up. I just saw that for less than a millisecond, and I freaked out. We're gonna throw it up on the screen. <laughs> no, <laughs> but but here's the thing. Here's We're the thing. You the won't screen. know 
if you're afraid of it till you see it. All and right. that's the thing. I saw it and I was like, this is this looks weird. And then right. the more well, I looked at well, it, the you, more it disturbed me. If you want to find out if you're scared of it, look up trypophobia video game. Trypophobia. Glitch. Trypophobia. Yeah. All right. Here's mine. Oh wait, fun fact. Uh, oh. Hippopotamonstro sesquip uh, sesquipedalophobia. Wow. That long word is the fear of long words. Wow. So that's whoever, ironic. That's a sick-minded individual that's came really up with that. Ironic. They're like, oh, I'm going to make this for the I buddy. love that. Super ironic. I okay. love that. Okay, go Here's for mine. it. Here's mine. Which of these am I allergic to? Allergic to. Gluten, dairy, grass, peanuts. You're not allergic to peanuts. And how do you know I'm not? I know you're not. I haven't eaten any peanuts around you. Think about it. Okay, so here's the thing. You're like gluten intolerant. But I think I remember you telling me something about you're allergic. You're actually allergic to grass. I'm gonna lock it in. You're allergic to grass. I'm I'm, I'm proud of you. Hey, I'm really? proud of you. Yeah, good job. Oh, let's go, baby. You did it. I knew it. I, I was really like, thought... I had this weird memory of him telling me he's like, oh yeah, I'm allergic See, to grass. I thought dairy was gonna get you because yeah. I thought you were gonna be like, oh, he's allergic to dairy, not gluten. Because I knew you were going to pick up the intolerance thing. Yeah, no, it's intolerance, not allergic. Yeah. So it was either going to be peanuts, but I was like, I don't think you're allergic to peanuts. My mom's like deathly allergic to it. Is she really? She is, yeah. So what happens whenever you go in the grass again? Like if you, if you like, <laughs> like, I, I like, don't know, I haven't done it if yet. If you roll around in the grass, what happens? Um, you just break out? No, like I just get super like itchy and then my eyes get super swollen. Ooh. And like, I'm really allergic to like pollen and stuff. Like that's like when allergies are bad, like. Catch you catch me singing at like concerts when the, my allergies are bad. It's bad. Wow. Yeah. It's, okay. It's a thing. So good that's job. hilarious. Okay. Uh, question number two for me. What is my favorite ice cream flavor? And this this kind of includes some local shops around here. Is it here. chocolate chip? Um, Savannah Butterman. You'll find you'll find out. So is it a cookies and cream by Tillamook? Oh, I think it's that. That's is what it, it is. It's, it's cookies. Is and it brown butter almond brittle from Jenny's? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, honeycomb from Hattie Jane's. It's not that. Or peach cobbler ice cream. I think it's peach cobbler ice cream. Okay. I think, but I'm not sure. I you're a big ice cream guy. Mm-hmm. I know you like a lot of things. Yeah. It's not the honeycomb one. Mm-hmm. Maybe it is. And you're trying to be dumb about it, but I can't give any hints with my 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 face or my eyes. It's unfortunate. I don't think it's peach. Maybe it is. What was the first two? Um, a cookies and cream from Tillamook. It, and I think it's cookies and cream. You think it's cookies and cream? It's not cookies. I and didn't cream. say yes. Uh you just right, you I locked got it in. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> I just eliminated one. Oh my word! All right, peaches. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. I knew Peach it. Cobbler ice cream. I, that one felt the right, most right. You know what's funny though is I changed my mind literally mid like when I was asking the question because when I first wrote down the question I was like oh it's a uh, brown butter almond brittle uh-huh. but I just had this peach cobbler ice cream from Walmart the other day Whoa. and it rocked my world. We both normally get uh, brown butter almond brittle at Jenny's, mm. but I uh, I can get down with some peach anything. Peach anything. I love yeah. peach. Like I the, love peaches. The flavor of peach in like soda. Anything. Yeah. It's just so good. So, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, we need to keep this moving. We're, we're really enjoying this. Sorry. This is way more comfortable than it was the yeah. first time. Oh, way more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, what's my favorite item of clothing? Jeans, T-shirt, shoes, hats. Jeans. And it's not hats because t-shirts. you don't wear hats. I wear uh, You oh, yeah. wear hats, but your hair is too magnificent. Okay, well, um, you and heard it here And first. it's not shoes because you're not into the shoe game. No, I'm not. Um, so, wait, what was it? What were the other two options? Jeans and t-shirt. Jeans and t-shirt. You know, um, it. I, you've never really talked too much about jeans, so I'm going to say t-shirts. Good job. Okay, let's That's go. Good. No. How am I doing, by the way? Did I miss the first one? You missed the first one. So I'm I'm a two out of three, so I'm at 66.67%. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I love jeans and t-shirts equally. Yeah. But t-shirts is just like, well, I, I don't love them equally. I love t-shirts more, definitely. Yeah. Like my uh, Muhammad Ali one. Like I, I, well, I have those few, that Bronco one that I love. Mm-hmm. I wear those like religiously. Well, there's a lot more variety with t-shirts. Just love them. Yeah, and with jeans, you only get like a couple of different options, you it don't, feels like. You don't understand how good I feel when I wear a t-shirt that I love. I love it. Okay, Joseph, yours. All right, question three for me. Let's see how you're doing. So you actually, how did you do on the first one? No, you said globophobia, which is not mine. And then uh, you got my favorite ice cream flavor, sort of. I did. Sort of. We'll give it to you. Um, This one could be super easy or trip you up to the max. Okay, just what, go for What it. is my birthday month? <laughs> February. Oh dang! I didn't even have to. 
I didn't even have to list off yeah, the options. I knew that one. I oh, dude, we hung out on your birthday. Y- oh, did we? Yeah, remember? Oh, yeah. It was like brand new. Me, you, and that guy. Oh, Blake and that guy we never hang out with anymore. Oh, Steven. <laughs> Luke. Yeah. No, it was Luke. Oh, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> so we obviously don't so, hang out yeah. with him anymore. He bailed on us, to be fair. We didn't bail on him. That's true. No, but um, yeah, man, we went to Chewy's. Remember? That's so true. I okay. Yeah. And your, yours is December. Yeah. Do yeah. you know the day? No, absolutely not. I don't remember your day either. Yeah, it's hard to remember days. What's your day? 16th. Okay, I was thinking 13th. Mine's the 18th of December. Oh, okay. Yeah, I almost did the birthday one. Okay. Okay, what is the first thing I do when I wake up? Shower, brush my teeth, fix coffee, or do push-ups? <laughs> See, I would love to say he does push-ups, but he's been telling me that he has not been working out recently. Uh, it's been a bad it's, year. Yeah, it's been a bad, it's been a bad couple I months for me, too. I went from every single day for a year, too. Just not. Not. Ever. Um, I'm an all-or-nothing kind of guy. Y- you know... I feel like it's either uh, take a shower, or brush your teeth, and we've talked about this before. We have, and and I, I and think I can't you remember. remember. I can't remember if you're like, oh man, I can't function. Like you're the same as me. You can't go out and talk to anyone until you brush your teeth. Amen. But some people brush their teeth after the gala shower, and some before. Yeah. And I'm just gonna go on a limb. And say you brush your teeth before you go into the I shower. I do. Let's go, baby. Wow. Come on. Let's go. Uh, I'm proud of you. People who brush their teeth after are psychopaths. They're not psychopaths. They are. It just it's kind of just I don't know. It's weird. You're like gargling your bacteria in your mouth. Gargling? Who what? gargles shower water? You don't. You're just sitting there with bacteria all in your mouth. It's terrible. From what? It's just the night. Yeah, but like if you if you Carl, brush, so you know what I'm talking about. No, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, well, that's what m- I think I'm normal people do. I'm sorry to anybody who takes offense to my stance. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay, my favorite sport. What is my favorite tennis. sport? Tennis. You didn't let me list off the Your options. favorite sport to play is tennis. Your favorite sport to watch is football. Well, then, hold up. I should have probably specified what is my favorite sport to watch. Because I was just going to go, what is my favorite sport? Period? Period. Just out of if everything. If I had to pick one sport for the rest of human existence, what was it going to be? Okay, just list them. A, tennis. B, football. <laughs> that's the first two that I guess. C, ultimate frisbee. Ah, that's a good one, too. You and love that D, one. And D, lacrosse. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you strike me as a lacrosse guy. I'm a huge lacrosse guy. You big lacrosse buff over yeah. here. Um, you could have gone professional tennis uh, if you kept up with it. So I'm not... I, I, feel, I don't know if you enjoyed it, though, the way you enjoy watching football. You love watching football, but I don't know if you'll like watch a tennis game the same way you'll watch a football game. Mm-hmm. Like you definitely keep up with like what's going on in the tennis world, but I don't see. And you keep up with like even who's winning, mm-hmm. but you much more so. I can see you watching football. I'm gonna go football, but you you hear my argument. That is correct, Mundo. Hey! Let's go, baby. <laughs> He knows me. I know. He knows. It. My dream it. before being an, uh, a musician was actually to be an NFL quarterback for yeah, the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, I remember Titans. you said that when you were young. Yep. You used to want to do that, so I wasn't sure. It's still low-key a dream of mine. So <laughs> it could happen. Tennessee Titans, <laughs> it if, you, could if you need a backup for Malik Willis and Ryan Tannehill, you know Ashland's, check me out. You know Ashland's brother like played, I told you that, right? I know, on the field. On the Titans yeah. stadium. Super jealous. That was wild. Super wild. Dude, they were freaking out. Yeah, I bet. It was so cool. I was so proud. I was like, yeah. he's watched me play shows before, but I was like, that is the coolest like thing in the world. Oh, it's amazing. I don't know. All right, last one for me. Uh, what's my biggest pet peeve? Leaving doors open, chewing loudly, loud people, or hot rooms? It's either hot rooms or leaving the door open. Wow. Because uh, I chew <laughs> you, you, You're like my brother when it comes to like locking the door and I think like shutting doors or just in general. Hmm. I don't know why, but that's that's the vibe I get. Um, hot rooms. I mean, this, this room's kind of warm right now. Uh, it's hot. My it's hand's sweaty. It's a little hot. Um, what were the other two options? Chewing loudly and loud people. Chewing loudly. That I mean, that annoys the heck out of me too. Hmm. Um... Or loud people. I know that we would be thinking really of the same person for just, loud people. We're not going to say it. We're not going to say it. Obviously, but, uh, the um, what was I going to say? Um, that would be super. What's what's the log in your own eye? Hypocritical to say loud people because you're I'm loud, loud and I'm loud. Yeah, and you somewhat tolerate being around me. Uh, so. Yeah, every now and then. Um, gosh, I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna say chewing loudly. 
<laughs> uh, what was it? I'm gonna leave the door open. Oh, uh, you don't like it when people leave the door I open. Hate... See, that was my gut reaction. But I, I was like, you no. Did. You did. You've said it, and I was like, I, I've been making faces every time I've read questions. Whenever yeah. you've gotten close. Oh, really? And I was like, purposely not gonna do it that time. I was like, I'm gonna. He's gonna get this one wrong. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, man, I I chew insanely loud. Oh, do you? It's a thing. Oh, okay. Anybody who like I grew up with, <laughs> also, <can attest>. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love the way Kobe eats. So we eat on his couch sometimes, and like normal people for the for the most part will eat <laughs> from their lap. Kobe <laughs> will like be bent over, <laughs> bent over the I table, get stuff on the couch. like this, eating like this. If you can see me, what? Right here, and he, I, it is the funniest thing. I don't want to get stuff on the couch. I, I understand that. Just eat, just eat the uh, clean then. No, but stuff falls. No, it doesn't. It's gross. If you have a plate on your if you're on your lap, then you're fine. <laughs> oh my word! <laughs> Turn the volume down on that. I'm gonna start doing that. Yeah. Okay, that's that's really funny. I I should have gone with my gut. Right. Okay, this right. one's easy. Why right. am I even asking Read it this? quick, read it quick. Come on. What's my favorite band? Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, Coldplay. Yeah, there you go. I don't need I didn't even have to. I just knew it took him a second. I was going to well, give I was it, like, I, I, well, here's, here was I the was joke. I was like, Gable, pr- cr- Price and Crew. I was yeah, like, I, know. I don't know. I was going to say For King and Country. Yeah. Relying K. Also. Coldplay. And Florida Georgia Line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just throw that in there. Well, I like yeah. yeah, sorry. Not a big fan of Florida Georgia Line. No, he can, actually. he can live without. Don't um, hate me. No, they're fine. Um. So, hey, that okay. was game time, right? That was game time. Hey, thank you for playing with us. Um, obviously, uh, yeah. Let's play again sometime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to get into uh, Q&A. Q&A, Q&A, it's time for Q&A. Joseph, I'm going to pick a couple for you real quick. Okay, and for um, yourself, of course, right? Yes, of course. Um, let's see here. Height. How tall are you? No, just kidding. Uh, what hair product do you use? Um, so because we actually asked you this this morning, and I don't remember. <laughs> oh, do but, you not? No, no but you'll I want to rem- know. You'll remember in a second. This is actually hilarious. So I have not shampooed. Oh my, my god! I, I haven't shampooed my hair in years. I think that's disgusting. It's I've not d- the fact that I forgot, and now I'm reliving <laughs> it. I feel like I feel like I'm retasting a burp. No, that's no. the worst. <laughs> that's the worst thing I've ever. No, but your hair smells amazing. So yeah, and I what ha- like literally smell my hair. Does this smell okay right now? <sighs> ah, that was a big sniff. <laughs> oh, what? but it smells good. Like yeah. genuinely. So the thing about curly hair, and right now, like I just got a haircut yesterday, so my hair is short, but um. The thing about curly hair is that you actually don't need to shampoo it because when you shampoo it, it gets rid of the oils that make your hair like curl up. So for me, I condition it every day with a coconut conditioner, and then I put a product in it from Walmart that's like a fiber paste that keeps the frizz like away, basically it keeps Man. the frizz away. It's like keeps the demons away. I think I uh, I think I could use some of that. I, I, I I'm I'm not I'm not zealous enough to go do it, but I appreciate to not it. shampoo or yeah. Or take care of your hair. What do you mean? My hair gets greasy when I don't shampoo it. Yeah, I think it it, it is like if if you um are so used to shampooing, it will be greasy for the first like week, but then it just gets normal after that. That's so it's totally fine. I just can't believe that. I know it's super weird. People people think I'm nuts though, but if you go online and check it out, like well, they do say you should probably shampoo like <laughs> one, once every like month or two. But I mean, as far as I know, I don't carry around any diseases. I'm totally fine. I don't know about and that. And my hair smells good. And people have always commented that I smell nice because I wear cologne. I wear deodorant. All I right. put conditioner right, let's stop in my hair. Our own horn. Okay. <laughs> and Kobe, do you put anything in your hair? <laughs> no, I just, I just. Uh, His hair just looks glorious the way it is. I blow dry it. That helps. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Blow drying helps it take shape. Um, okay, Sarah wants to know from schooling with Sarah wants to know what is your favorite Avenger. Um, I'm a one on. Uh, <laughs> I'm a one on the I am a one on the Enneagram. Yeah, I know. So I am all about truth, justice, morality, black and white, things lining up. And so my boy Captain America has to be the guy. Captain America? He's that guy. Trust I me, pal. That. You're, that guy. That guy. you're not that guy, pal. <laughs> Trust me, you're not that guy. So Captain America's my favorite. He always has been my favorite. He was also the first movie that I ever watched of a Marvel movie ever. That's like, good. besides, you know, uh, Fantastic Four, those old ones. Like, nostalgia. the first Marvel Studios movie was Captain America. That movie was one of my favorites. Still is one of my favorites. And I will just continue to love him as a character. He's He's amazing. And I appreciate him. He's the best the thing best. in the world. What um, about you, bro? I would say um, I get the Captain America thing. He used to be my favorite, probably. Definitely. But I think now... Um, 
My favorite superhero is Spider Man. He uh, we, why why is Spider Man your done, favorite? <laughs> what are this, some of his weaknesses? We've done this so many times. We did this question in the car on our trip. Yes, and we've done this question so many times. But um, he's my favorite because <laughs> his villains use. <laughs> The people he loves against him. So yeah. his weakness is the people he loves. Yeah, I think it's really, really impactful. Yeah. Um, and I just love Spider Man. Andrew Garfield Spider Man uh, changed my life. Uh, I tried to dress up like him. I bought the soundtrack to the movie. Um, it was just he's amazing. Uh, Tom Holland's amazing. Not as good, but amazing. Um, that fly is still there. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> he hates flies. I'm trying to pretend like it's not. For there. those listening, we have this huge. White it's lamp. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What's it called? Uh, uh, a key Cros- light. It's a what? Aperture. It, aperture. Crosby's saying it's an aperture light, and there's this fly in the center of it. Actually, there's two flies now. I'm gonna be real. I have a weird. Um, this studio has a weird issue with flies. I don't know what that is. I'm getting up. Yeah, it does. I think they get oh, in dang. somewhere. I don't really know why. Our house is super clean. I don't really know what's going on with that, but bro, you weren't even close to that fly, and you <laughs> swatted it. That was funny. <laughs> All right, great question. Love that. That was a great question. Okay, somebody asked if this is an Avocados and Shenanigans reboot, um, which is my old podcast that I used to have. <gasps> it wasn't a podcast; it was Instagram Live. You had a, you had a podcast, so I did it over. Um, I did it over uh, quarantine, and so no I got, way. I what was it called again? Avocados and Shenanigans. That's dumb. Isn't that, oh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good name. Did you really? <laughs> You were about to say that's awesome. No, that's so <laughs> weird. But it's, it's super great. unique. Avocados and shenanigans. I used to have the poster board hung up. Actually, actually. you know, it does. It flows off the tongue um, a little bit. I, I was go, just coming for it a little bit. I would bit. go live on Instagram every week and I would play songs, talk to people, interact. It was really fun. So Why this avocados, is, though? I loved avocados. Okay. I did toast every morning. So um, this is kind of a reboot of that. Yes. Um, okay. One more question and then we're going to move on. Um, Oh, Joseph has just informed me that he wants to do a specific I one. I have one question that we talked Joseph, about that I love. Joseph, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? Now, you start, because you right. started last time, I'm and bigger, I love your answer. I'm a much bigger Star Wars fan than Joseph. Um, my favorite is Revenge of the Sith or Return of the Jedi, so the third or the sixth movie. Uh, I think the best movie is... Empire Strikes Back, the fifth movie. That's right. You think objectively it's the best movie objectively, cinematically. Cinematically, cinematography-wise, it's the best shot. It's got the best story. It has the best conflict. It has the best everything about it is amazing. But Return of the Jedi is amazing because I love Darth Vader's redemption. Okay. <laughs> I've been making dumb faces this entire podcast. Darth Vader's redemption. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Lord Jesus, give me straight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, so Darth Vader's turn to the dark uh, light side is amazing. His turn to the dark side is also my favorite. I just love the conflict. I love Anakin. Yeah. I love Darth Vader. Joseph, tell us your terrible opinion. No, nah, this is okay. So this is a an extremely hot take, a hot take to to take all of the takes. A wrong, t- a wrong take. It is. Um, so the 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 Star Wars movie. The, the, the Star Wars movie. <laughs> the Star Wars movie. That had me on edge the entire time, and 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 really pulled me in with the story, the special effects, the the characters, some even some of the fight sequences, even though they were terribly choreographed. I just found out a couple weeks ago. Oh my gosh, the throne room scene! Yes, I didn't realize it was that bad, but yeah. there are some really funny things that happened okay. in that scene. Keep going. The Last Jedi is. <laughs> is a fantastic movie. And if you do not think so, you've been sleeping on it. Because I think that the character development, I think that Luke being a grumpy old man was a great move, not a bad move. I think that the the planet with the salt at the end, and I don't know. There's it's called Crate. You don't even know the planet's name. I don't know because I'm not a Star Wars the fan. The planet's Crate. Yeah. So I just love The Last Jedi because it, it kept me on my, my, my toes the entire time. I thought the Rey and Finn, uh, no, not, not Rey and Finn, sorry, Rey and Kylo Ren. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta get my names right. Ray and Kylo Ren, their whole dynamic in the film and like the tension between them was so cool, so cool, groovy. Yes, was okay, the, was okay, the okay. Finn storyline with Rose a little bit pointless? Oh my gosh, perhaps the it casino was. Casino scene where nothing happens for twenty minutes. I don't care if nothing ended up happening. Oh. Sometimes here's the, here's the thing: it was bold. It, yeah. The movie was bold because it sometimes shows that you can do a mission and it doesn't end up working okay. out in your favor. Not all everything right. has to be peachy keen right, at the all end. Right, all right, all right. You're right, Joseph. I'm, I appreciate your wrong opinion. Yeah. Anyway, Last um, Jedi, 
top for me, then Force Awakens right underneath. Oh, wow. And then uh, Rogue One is up there, too. Who hurt you? No one hurt As me. A child. I just have really weird takes when okay, it comes to Star I'm gonna Wars. I'm going to say um, Kylo Ren's the best character in the series. So yeah. he saves a lot of that franchise. That that trilogy for me is Kylo Ren, the only cool character in the series. Um, and I think that's because he's mirrors Anakin, except in the opposite. Yeah. So he's like bad going to the light, which is just sick. So great. Okay. Uh, awesome. Well, guys, uh, we're jumping into our last segment of the podcast, which is just the end. The end. Yeah. Uh, Kobe, let's, can you, can you share, I'll share a little bit from me too, but from your perspective, what do you think is kind of the goal of this podcast? What's the heart behind this podcast? Yeah. What do you want to see from this podcast? Yeah. Explain to the people. I want to make so much money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm kidding, guys. We make nothing. We, <laughs> we don't. We live off of nothing. No, we, uh, I think my goal for this podcast is, uh, I feel like media in this, in this kind of world is so just kind of tainted with just so much negativity. And I feel like I listen to podcasts. And sin. And sin. <laughs> sin is in well, there. Sin is negative. Um, <laughs> negative energy. Say that. Say like I'm Sean not Mendes. Saying, sin is negative energy. Sin is negative energy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just feel like this this world's kind of filled with that. And I feel like when I listen to podcasts, um, I get kind of bogged down. A lot of the guys I listen to aren't believers. And and that's fine. You don't have to consume everything that you know is by people that are Christians. But I do think that it, it does tend to bog you down when their worldviews just don't align with yours. And it, it's hard. And I, I, I appreciate people for what they, they do well. But um, I want to bring something with you. Um, I want to bring something to believers that they can have fun with that isn't always a Sunday school lesson, but is clean and and filled with good content um, that's entertaining and and we'll have some faith involved in it which is just great I mean I think that's the biggest part for me because I wish I had that growing up and I was super into Christian music and wanted to be a part of it but and I would have appreciated something that was you know kind of talking about it in the the light that we are what about you Joseph talk about it a little bit it's good man um, along the same lines is like I grew up listening to Christian radio and just the impact that that had on me. Uh, I want to be able, uh, just us through this, the Kojo show, we want to provide family friendly content that you can just throw on, uh, in the car and listen to that, you know, is going to be clean. We're always going to say clean jokes. We're both two very clean individuals, I think. Yes. Um, and we're also two, two guys who just, you know, love the Lord and want to be able to like, um, speak about him uh but also uh write about him and music and stuff like that but we again this is just an avenue i think for people to listen to um that it's like just always going to be uh encouraging i think that's it positive and encouraging not to be all k-lovey here but like positive encouraging podcast central Kojo love. and you need something a little bit different you know uh, if you don't want to listen to music and you want something to throw on the car in the morning when you're driving your kids to school or if you're just like on a long road trip uh, throw on to some Kojo show, and you'll get some good, some positive, good vibes. That's right. And this is for all ages. This is for yeah. kids, uh, college kids, high schoolers, parents. I don't care if you're forty. I don't care if you're four. You know, it's, ninety-seven. Wait, uh, uh, from kids to one to ninety-two. Yeah, like, if, like you're, I said, if you're ninety-three, stop listening to us. <laughs> we're, it's it's kind of you cap out at that point. Yeah, no, you're not gonna get it. But um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching the Kojo show. Uh, I'm Kobe James, and I'm Joseph O'Brien. We talked about music, and we talked about love, <laughs> life. life. <laughs> Peace.